Hello, and welcome to Freaky Fettuccine. On tonight's episode, because I will never be free of Undertale, we have an Undertale creepypasta. Keep that in mind, it's a creepypasta, totally an original creepypasta that someone put on the creepypasta wiki. It's called Undertale, Toby Fox Prototype. Undertale went through several changes through its development by Toby Fox. A beta version of Undertale was made by Toby Fox around the middle of 2014, to say the least. What? It had many changes from the final game, and it didn't have a mercy button. Therefore, setting it permanently to a genocide run. The original version originally meant for you to kill everything, like standard JRPGs. Toby uploaded this version to a Torrent website, undergoing the name TF. Fortunately, the version was up for one more day until it was eventually taken down. I downloaded it before it got removed and attempted to play it, just to see what Undertale would be like. First of all, Frisk's beta sprite had a nest-like shirt and blonde hair, shown here. Some enemy sprites were changed to their hard-mode counterparts, and sometimes weren't. It seems that during the development, there was a bug that switched sprites. I don't think that's how bugs work. As for how far the story goes, it gets up to Snowden, and then the game crashes. Through the world of hacking, <laughs> an actual phrase someone wrote, I found out that there was another bug that crashed the game once you left the ruins. I removed it. You removed it. That's... That's actual programming, that's not like, oh, here's a bug. Zoop, it's gone now. <laughs> Toby's not that incompetent a programmer, come on. He's only a little bit incompetent. Anyway, I removed it, and finally was able to progress some more. I got to Papyrus in Sans's house. Nobody was there. There wasn't even a me- There wasn't even a meeting with the two before that. Just nothing. I walked further, and there was a door that was floating in midair. I used it, and suddenly I was in a black room. I walked more and more, until I eventually found Papyrus mourning over the grave of his brother. I was shocked. So very shocked. Human! Let's just get this over with! I then engaged in a battle with Papyrus. His battle sprite looked like this. The text box then flashed at me. Papyrus no longer believes in you. Papyrus made all my HP drop to one in a gigantic attack. I am disappointed with you, human, he said. S Sans was the, the best brother I ever had. Papyrus finally finished me off with another attack. Oddly enough, the game didn't show me a game over screen, but rather to a cutscene, showing Frisk on the ground leading to death. You killed my brother! Now you will suffer the same fate as him! I thought you didn't meet Sans and Papyrus. Papyrus took the weapon I was equipped with, and slash! Wouldn't you have the tough glove, though? How are you going to slash someone with the glove? The screen went black and showed me a game over screen. I played it over and over, just to see if I can try and avoid Papyrus's attacks. I always failed because I am a very shitty gamer. <laughs> Since then, I have deleted the files off of my computer. For good. Update. Ripped Papyrus' battle theme. From the files that you deleted. Update 2. The song that played when I was walking around in empty Snowden. You are not even trying with verisimilitude anymore. So, this can only mean two things. One. Sans isn't Ness. Frisk is Ness. And two, man on the internet did disbelieve Papyrus.